Hi, my name is Rick Hamilton. I'm the host of the Staying Healthy Today Show. This is a show where we interview key experts in the fields of nutrition, prevention, integrative medicine, review the medical literature, and sometimes do case studies. And today's show topic is the most important diet rule. Eat only whole carbs. There's not a day that goes by that I don't have a patient come in and say, I'm trying to lose weight, going to get off carbs. I'm trying to get rid of my diabetes, i got to get off carbs. Um, get off carbs, get off carbs, get off carbs. And I was recently reminded of this in an interview I did with uh, Dr. Kevin Mackey. He's a researcher who wrote an article in the Journal of Nutrition about reducing diabetic risk by doing one thing, replacing refined carbohydrate with intact or whole carbohydrate. If everybody followed the one rule, eat only whole intact carbohydrate, we'd wipe out heart disease, wipe out type 2 diabetes, wipe out obesity, and make a dent in cancer prevention. Now, that's a pretty bold statement. But here's the truth. All the different diets, whether it's a paleo diet or a South Beach diet or a vegan diet, I'm more of a vegan type person, in their ideal state, when you follow the directions completely, what do they get rid of? They get rid of refined carbohydrate. And so when you get rid of bread products, let's say, or when you go on the no-carb diets for a Westerner, basically you're just getting off processed food. You're not getting off whole wheat berries cooked in a bowl. You're not getting off brown rice, let's say. What you're getting off are everything, as I do this with every day with a patient, from a donut, that's wheat and sugar and all the other things that go in it, to even a bread. A bread is a processed food. A muffin, a cake, a cookie, they're usually some refined, usually mostly wheat, sometimes corn, grain that is refined and that has sugar and oil added into it. And when you add the lack of fiber and you add sugar and oil into everything, that's where all the problems stem from. So I tell my patients, eat your carbohydrate in its whole state and with a grain I say, cook it and eat it in a bowl. Put any herbs and spices you want, don't put oil all over it, and try and eat it in its most intact form. For example, you can have rolled oats over here, you can have even puffed oats or odios over here, or you can have oat groats. Oat groats, steel cut oats, are more fiber rich than rolled oats that are definitely more fiber rich than, you know, odios or Cheerios type foods. If we just remember that, if everybody cooked, for example, everybody's freaking out about wheat, and there are some people who are, who are wheat sensitive, I take everybody off wheat, but when I'm taking people off wheat, what I'm really taking them off is not wheat berries cooked in a bowl, the grain. If everybody ate cooked wheat berries, we dramatically lose weight in this country. Some people might be sensitive, but I guarantee you we lose weight. And the reason is, is because you're getting rid of all the sugar and oil from all the confectionery foods that Westerners or Americans attach to the wheat. Cakes, cookies, muffins, etc. So the most important diet rule is when you eat a carbohydrate, if you just eat it in its whole state, so let's go down the line. Whole fruit versus the juice or purees or whatever. The fiber's intact, the water's intact. A little more rapidly absorbed, but still, it'll be good for you. Lentils, peas, and beans in their whole state. Don't put oil all over them. Just cook them in herbs and spices. They will not make you fat. They're fabulous, low glycemic foods. Let's talk about whole grains. Even no one eats wheat berries, but... You know, wheat berries, brown rice, oat groats, quinoa, all those grains in their whole state. You cook them in a bowl, you put herbs and spices all over them, don't add oil and fat all over them, you won't get fat. Remember traditional Asian cultures, they even eat white rice, but they eat white and brown rice. Massive amounts, and they, they don't get fat because they weren't adding a lot of oil and fatty foods all over it. Lots of vegetables, a little bit of animal food, a little bit of fish, a little bit of tofu. So we've got whole grains. We've got lentils, peas, and beans, squash, and then the bean family. Even though the truth is everything's got protein in it. And, you know, rice is 5% protein, white rice. But beans in their whole state are a fabulous blood sugar food. Maybe a quarter protein, three quarters, good carbohydrates, some resistant starch. When you eat those foods intact and you don't put fat and gooey stuff all over them, you will not get fat. We would lose weight as a country and as a society, and we reverse the chronic diseases, heart disease, diabetes, obesity, etc. And how do I know that? Well, I'm going to try and do this without spilling them all over the place. But these books, 
and it made everything shake there. Um, all these are about ending diabetes, and these are high on processed carbohydrate diets, okay? Heart disease, type 2 diabetes, obesity, the Crohn diseases, cancer. So the next time you struggle about what to eat, number one is, is all the carbohydrate foods you're eating in their whole state? And then number two is, yeah, you could be sensitive to some. There's some people that are sensitive to wheat, but it's not as much as it's made out to be because the foods that everybody's getting off, got, got getting off of that have wheat in them also have sugar and oil and all kinds of other stuff thrown in there. Don't eat processed foods. Eat the carbohydrate in its whole state. And whole state. Limit your animal protein. Cut it down, palm full or less a day or none. And we would wipe out the chronic diseases. Heart disease, type 2 diabetes, obesity. These are 85%, 86% of the United States' huge health care budget. Okay? My name is Kirk Hamilton. I'll have links to Dr. Mackey's interview. I'll have links to some of these books in there. But remember, simple diet rule. Just eat your carbohydrate in its whole state, unprocessed, and that's all you got to worry about. Don't put oil all over them. Don't put meat and gooey stuff all over them. Just herbs and spices, and you do great. Talk to you soon. You have a fabulous day.